It was raining that day, a frigid Monday night. Things just felt too quiet around the office. That's when my assistant came in, a strange man in tow. He approached my desk, handed me a blank envelope and left without a word. A shady end to a shady day. Within the envelope was a crude drawing of a bridge, an X on the right support. Normally I would have waved it off, but business was slow and I needed to work. Despite the simplicity, I recognized the imagery as none other than the local Fitzer underpass down by the river. It wasn't much, but damn if it wasn't something. With the kid in tow, I headed out. It was a long, chilly walk down to the bridge. The mystery and intrigue of what this case could be ate away at me. But mystery and intrigue are what I live by. It was the kid's first real case. I just hoped the scene wasn't too gruesome. He's dead. Come on. A note by the body. No doubt an attempt by the local gangs to scare off the police, followed by the signature of a Mr. X. For most, this would be a case gone cold, but I knew that handwriting. Time to take a visit to an old friend. John Lugosi was a local small-time arms dealer who kept himself holed away very nicely. His hideaway was well known among miscreants and petty thieves as a place where a pretty penny could be won or lost at the luck of the cards. It was a dangerous place, no doubt, but this was a case I needed to crack. We're here to see Mr. Lugosi. Tell him Mix here. Well, well, well. If it ain't Mickey. Lugosi, how's the wife? She's fine. What brings you to my humble abode? I've got quite the conundrum. <laughs> Anything for a friend, Mickey. A dead body by a lake with a note nearby. Wondering if you had any leads about a case like that. I don't know anything about that, Mickey. Oh, what a shame. Thanks for the help anyways, Mr. X. You came to the wrong place. The car! Let's not lose our heads here, buddy. It's up to you now, kid. And there he was, dead on the ground, the chief and my good friend. I couldn't have stuck around. Police would be on that thing any minute. He never was too chummy with the cops. The case was far from over, and my story had just begun.